Hello again my friends, me and my raid team have reached Oryx in the hard mode raid but haven't got round to finishing him off just yet but I thought it would be fun to show you the loot that I've collected along the way so let's start with Harrowed Quillim's Terminus. Now this is basically a reskin with some cool added effects. This weapon seems to be breathing out smoke. Now the perks include Cocoon, we've got Extended Mag, Lightweight, Small Bore and Either Stool. Now if we compare this to the normal raid mode Quillim's Terminus we see that it has pretty much exactly the same stats apart from of course a higher attack and this has a larger magazine which I'm actually pretty happy with because I like to take this into the crucible with me um, and in fact I think that the Quillim's Terminus is probably one of the best pieces of raid weaponry that you can get so I'm actually pretty happy with that. We've also got a Kingslayer shell, 312 defense so that's not too shabby either and finally we ha I have a Harrowed Dark Hollow Treads. Now this is 314 and uh, this brings my light level up to 309. Before the raid I was 307 but having just equipped three pieces of hard mode raid gear I've uh, managed to increase my light level to 309 which isn't too shabby at all. Now if you bag yourself a harrowed piece of armor you also unlock the hard raid armor shader to preview in the shader kiosk so let's have a look at that too. Oh there seems to be a bit of a dance party going on here but let's have a look at the uh, the shader. So let's go over to this particular collection and preview it. And as you can see, we have a cool neon glowing piece of armor. So that's pretty distinctive. I do like the look of that. It's called Ascendant Plane. Now let me actually equip the non-cloak so that you can see this in even more detail. Now uh, let's turn it around. And as you can see, it's got a big patch of glowing neon shaded to it, which is pretty damn cool. But I think my favorite cloak to combine with the shader has got to be the Vault of Glass. This looks really cool when you're actually wearing this. So let's preview that too before we move on. Look at that sexy beast. Not too shabby in the slightest. Now what we're going to do is now have a look at the hard mode raid emblem. So let's do that. So then here's the bright orangey red ascendant emblem you get when defeating Oryx on hard mode. Thanks to my pal and fellow YouTuber Arix Gaming for the gameplay. If you'd like to see exactly how he defeated Oryx, click the link in the description description box below. And one last thing before I go, on NeoGAF, a Destiny gamer asked if anyone was getting elemental primary weapon drops from hard mode Oryx. Luke Smith, Bungie's Taken King design lead, responded by saying this, no, elemental primaries are being left behind. They had the distinct and undesirable property of limiting a broad weapon sandbox to a few weapons, so in short, do not expect to bag yourself a year 2 elemental primary. In fact, it seems that Zolo Supercell is the only Taken King primary that deals elemental damage. If you'd like to read Luke Smith's full response, again, click the link in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, oh, you beautiful bastards. And as always, a tee hee hee, until next time, Guardians.